Hey guys, it's Tabitha and I just wanted to share something with you all. I actually don't have a lick of makeup on my face right now and that is because today's skin is brought to you by Palmer's Skin Success Anti-Dark Spot Fade Cream. That is a mouthful. There was a time in my life where I could only have this evenness over my skin tone and complexion with the use of makeup and concealers. But now with the aid of Palmer's, I'm able to walk around with clear, glowing and healthy skin all day long. I suffered from acne like most people in high school but the problem was always with the dark spots that the acne would leave behind and dealing with hyperpigmentation especially as a black woman is not easy and that's why these products are so great because it contains niacinamide that is responsible for lightening those dark areas along with vitamin E, retinol and other key ingredients that are needed for your skin health. These products are also super convenient because instead of me having to have five or six products to make up some type of skin regimen I have everything I need in these two products right here. I apply it once in the morning after I wash my face for the morning and then once in the evening when I'm getting ready to go to bed. And it's super light so you can wear it under your makeup without your face having to feel heavy with product. Best of all, it's super affordable. You can find these at your local grocery store, convenience store, pharmacy, they're everywhere. The bar soap is also great because that evenness that I'm getting on my face, I can now achieve over my entire body. So these two together are really like just that one-two punch combo that you need to tackle on your skin I just wanted to share this with you guys just in case nobody ever saw this gem before I haven't heard much people talking about it but it's there and it's effective so if that helps anybody then that's a job well done so I wish you the best in your skincare journey and I hope that these products do for you what it was able to do for me all right so now we're gonna go get into the vlog Today is Monday, May, I think the 29th, yeah, yeah, I think today's Monday 29th and it's a holiday, yeah, yeah, and so in the Bahamas, holidays mean beach days, so as you can tell, we're going to the beach, we're going to the beach again, we're going to the beach. I'm not super excited. These puppies, oh my God. But if I send them flying with my foot, I wrong, right? Anyway, I'm not entirely happy about everybody being on the beach today. I like it when the beach is empty. So hopefully it's not that crowded today, but yeah. Well, I am going to get some work done today. I have some new content and stuff that I need to do for Kingdom Talk, my ministry channel. If you guys did not know that I have a ministry channel, I do. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do some stuff for that and then chill out, relax, take a breather and enjoy this beautiful holiday that the Lord God has given us. Um, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> Daddy, stop being so. All right, all right. <laughs> watching me like 
my god it should be common courtesy that if you see somebody filming and especially if y'all catch eye contact look away why people really is watch you doing what you gotta do and i know we in public but it still feels like an invasion of privacy because not only is the beach not super crowded it's my favorite weather overcast no hot blazing sun a nice cloud overcast color i nice and cool and i got my fruits caught spoiling me i feel good i feel good like i told y'all before i keep that thing on me you know i just thought of something and this this getting deep but too bad i'm a deep person like i'm just sitting here looking right and you know in the scripture where god says my thoughts toward you are more numerous than the sand of the sea and i was just looking at my own body right these little grains of sand right here even just the the sand that's on my toes that alone is like a few thousand already just these little specks on my body i'm not even covered in sand i'm just it just on me everywhere like in little places just everywhere right and so for god to say that my thoughts toward you are more numerous than the sun on this on the shore like this is not even the whole beach y'all could imagine god saying my thoughts toward you are more numerous than the smallest grain the, the smallest amount of grains that you could find on your body like oh my god that's just so beautiful i'm very much overtaken by that right now because to know that god thinks that many good thoughts toward you he says he knows the plans that he have for you i have good thoughts toward you more numerous than the sand of the seashore you can't even count all the good thoughts that god thinks toward you like bro how do you not be like in, in euphoria knowing that your father the creator of heaven and earth says that he has more it's more good thoughts towards you than the number of of sand on the sea that's beautiful that is beautiful like that is so so i'm like i could just meditate on that all day to know that every time i speak with god it's probably a good thought not probably like just i say i'm probably because sometimes you know god has to be like you know what you do a little bit too much but <laughs> when i'm not being chastened by god i'm it's so good to know that i am going to be hearing his good thoughts his good plans towards me what's next for me where do we go next what to do next how to be better how to become better how to be a better child how to be a better daughter a better sister a better mother a better wife like all of that i'm gonna learn because this man stop calling this man this stop calling god a man but i i just i don't i don't have words to describe him sometimes and it's just like I know um, another name for God is uh, El Elyon, right? The Most High and uh, El Shaddai, the Many-Breasted One and Elohim, the Creator. But even like, I just can't, God is God, Jehovah, Yahweh. Like that you cannot put a name to this, to this thing. And I can call him a thing because the angels call Jesus a holy thing in the Bible. So when I'm saying thing, I'm not at all being disrespectful. I am just in awe of God and his goodness. I'm just in awe of how great a God I serve. And that he's good. That he's good to me. He's good to his people. He honors people and creation. And oh my God, he is so in love with us my god we get to enjoy this in the bahamas for free like wow it's about to rain well it's already starting to rain 
so i hope no one's offended by me showing off my body as a quote unquote christian woman on here this channel is definitely not for religious people who see the body as something evil that needs to be covered up i've been working really hard by the grace of god to get my body in a place that not only i'm proud to be in but that i believe god also wants to dwell in he's been teaching me about eating what to cut out what to add in fasting and also doing my 30 minute workouts every day I'm very aware of the way I present my body to the world and there's a beautiful freedom that comes with honoring my convictions when it comes to my body. So I'm free and I pray you are free as well, whatever that means to you. Hurry up, please. Stop playing in the water. Yes, you are. You need to hurry up. I don't know if y'all could hear outside. It's very hectic. The game is going on, and everybody just. I, it's just a lot, a lot is going on. This is just very much chaotic. Anyway, someone, Mr. Man here decided that he wanted to start bathing his own self. He's five years old, gonna be five years old now, and he says that he don't need nobody to bathe him. He don't need nobody to do nothing. He just gonna bathe himself. So we can be the judge of that. And you need to hurry up. Stop wiping your belly. Get the rest of your body. Get your arms. Get your legs. Hurry up. It's time to go to bed. Hurry up. But anyway, like I'm saying, outside is very chaotic. So I'm not even going to try to vlog anymore for the night. We just want to go to bed and pick back up with this vlog. God's willing tomorrow. Carrie, hurry up, please. You got to get your bath too. There's a lot going on. But I just want to go to bed. So... See you in the morning. You bathe yourself? Yeah. Yeah? <coughs> All right, Kari Strong? Yeah. Let me see. Strong. All right, y'all, so it's the next day, and today I have one objective. Stay godly, stay black, watch stuff blow up, and eat some good food. I know that's four, but basically, that all feel like it's just one thing to me today and if it's not in that one thing if it's not in this bubble then i just don't hear it i don't hear nothing that in these four things right here okay so that is why i'm going to the movies today to watch fast and furious 10 and i'm very excited because i genuinely really like that series i'm a fan of the fast series I know a lot of people would be like, oh, well, I don't like it. It's not realistic anymore. Like, oh, shut up. It's not supposed to be realistic. It's an action movie. It's action movies aren't realistic. Anyway, so I like the series and I just want to watch some stuff blow up today. I'm just, so I'm going to 
fix my hair, try to wrap this in a bun. if I should wear a jacket because you know how the movies get cold it doesn't go with my outfit but there's a Bahamian proverb that goes I don't go to the movie girl, let's go to the but movie I don't jacket. No jacket so they yeah. feel like they Listen, give them their jacket yeah. I don't wear no jacket I'll suffer I would get this on my shirt, right? As y'all can see, the food is slamming. The snapple was snapping. Yes, I still pick up my peas out of my rice because I'm still childish. I don't care, but oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm more than satisfied. My brother is my date today, y'all.
One more race, I'm gonna roll out, I'm gonna race, I'ma go off, I'ma go off, I'ma go off, I'ma go off, I gotta go now. Can y'all tell that I enjoyed the movie? Mind you, the storyline was a bit ridiculous. We're not gonna get ahead of ourselves, but it was good, it was enjoyable, the action was good. And y'all, spoiler alert, so skip ahead if you don't wanna hear nothing. My nigga Hobbs! My nigga Hobbs back! I knew that was gonna happen. I was so excited to see him. I love Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Like even when he was a wrestler, I used to love watching him on TV. And I love him as an actor. And then Giselle is back, so I know that was gonna happen. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Ever since they brought Han back from the dead, I was like, okay, they can just bring everybody back from the dead. So nobody's ever really dead in the series. So it was so good. I didn't know that there was gonna be another part. Apparently it's gonna be a trilogy. But whatever i'm excited i was excited them 40x chairs like you can't go in there with food like everybody who had food around me i saw them like holding on to their food because like the chair was going all over the place like it don't make no sense it don't make no sense having food if you're gonna be in the movie theater with the chairs going all over the place because you can be wearing your food anyway today was a good day thank god tomorrow is my sister's birthday well technically in like five minutes it's her birthday and i'm gonna see if i can um do a little surprise thing for her i think we're going out tomorrow so yeah that's that but i'm gonna go to bed now because me tired okay me tired my body tired only one <laughs> I cannot tie the lords thank god I only get eight of these please don't let this little boy come in here I have to do this without Kari looking at me because Kari would go and tell us mommy look mommy honey get you balloons so like I have to hide from him to even do this Alright, so now I'm trying to decide if I should just leave them on the floor, like sprinkle them around the floor, or should I like create like a balloon backdrop or like something. Let me show y'all what I mean. So I'm trying to figure out like should I leave it like this, like just leave them all over the floor and she can take like nice pictures sitting down on the floor. So like should I leave it like this or option two. Video. Don't touch my phone. You need to go trash it. You need to go wipe your face. You have all kind of syrup on your shirt. Oh, oh when we finish, when we come with the bathroom, we can sing happy birthday to you. Okay. Look at this skin. Who is that? The skin is skinning. This is only something so, so she could be able to take pictures today because we're going out, but it's raining outside so she won't be able to go outside and take any pictures. Sorry. Come here. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Woo! Happy birthday. Oh, that's so cute. Happy birthday, Goyle. Yay. So change of plans. We are not. We didn't end up going out today. We didn't really end up doing anything. Her friends actually um, did like a surprise thing. They set up like somewhere at a bar. So they're just gonna get like a group of people together and everybody's gonna surprise her. She's stressing out because she's looking for places to go and everybody who she's asking to go out with, they like pretending like they don't know what's going on. She's very annoyed. Her makeup got done late. She just going through. Wait, what? Cause I'm ready. What you looking at me for? Oh, you said plug an iron. Where you want me to plug that in? Cause my phone charging. So what you want me to do? Hi little puppies. So you gotta sit on the floor, you gotta take these floor pictures. Okay, how sit on, sit down. Sit down. Take off the shoe. You gotta take them off, you can oh. have the shoe on. Sit down like how you sit. Yes. Sitting? This is actually great quality. Very nice. <laughs> okay, girl. Hold on. Birthday girl. I have an eating flash in here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look. That is so beautiful. Oh my child. Who does Tabitha's studio? Oh. Oh. Behind the scenes of Tabitha's studio. Get down. I'm gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this, so I had to to shine like this in a matter of uh, time I spent on some locked up on the back of the uh petty like a like don't rest. I think that's if you house. you want more photos or are you good? This is this is good because I need to go get a drink. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday!
This is good because I need to go get a drink. <laughs> Y'all, this girl all night talking about tonight I getting drunk. I getting drunk. I getting drunk. This girl come home two or three o'clock in the morning, waking me up out my sleep, talking about oh my chest hurting. I don't think I could make it. Oh my chest. I'm... I was like nope. I wake my daddy up and I told him go deal with your child because I wasn't dealing with it. But needless to say, the night was a success. I believe that she had fun. She had a good time. And so it's a few days later and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Like I said, I don't like my vlogs to be too long. Once we got a good chunk of stuff, I'm just ready to start off with a new vlog. So that's it for this one. We're gonna pick up filming again on Saturday. And I pray you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel because you guys don't have to. I very, very, very much appreciate it. And I hope you find love, light, and joy on this channel. So I'll see you in the next one. God bless you. Rush. Rush, come on, honey. <laughs> Mama. Okay, all right. Okay. You just want some attention, eh? I know. I know, Mama.